Greetings, friends. This is another thing that you can do when you are bulk listing with CSV files to eBay, and that is revise them. It's fairly simple, but there's a couple little pitfalls slash tricks I will tell you about so you don't pull your hair out. The only required fields in a CSV file that includes revisions are the action column, the ID column, and whatever fields you want to modify. For the action column, put it first, and the action is revise. For the item ID, I'll talk about how you get that in a minute, but you want to make sure it's a normal number, not an exponent, and I'll talk about why that's even an issue in a second. And finally, for the fields to modify, you want to just make sure that if there's any dependent fields, you have those as well. For example, if you have, um, you want to change the amount at which you'll accept an offer, you want to make sure that you also make uh, have the field that turns offers on or any other dependent situation. A lot of them have to do with shipping. That's all you need to put into your CSV file. And I'll talk a little bit more about how you pull that all together. So after you've uploaded your original using the upload reports page in your seller hub, You'll see it listed in this um, table of past uploaded files. And you'll have an option in the action column, not to be confused with the other action column, where you can either download results or download the source file. So if you download the results, you will get a report on whether things succeeded or failed when you uploaded them. It will look something like this. Ignore that I'm doing end action in this one, but it will have like a success status or an error or an error message or a warning or whatever. But it will also have these item IDs which it has added. Of course, when you uploaded to begin with, you didn't know what the item ID was. That gets assigned after you upload the CSV file. So when you download the results, it tells you what item ID got assigned. The problem is that if you're using Excel, because the item ID is a very long number, it will automatically convert it to this exponential number format, usually. If you're using a different spreadsheet, this might not be an issue. Luckily, it's pretty easy to fix. Here, I'll show you on this big one here. So I have this messed up number and I just need to go to format cells and change it to number and then make sure it has no decimal places. And it should pop into a normal looking item ID number. And you can do the whole column at once. I've already done all of these. So once you have those back to normal, you can save this again as a CSV file and you can upload it the same way you did it originally. Well, it will find the item by the ID and then it will um, overwrite or add the modified fields you've put in there. And it will also give you a new report so you'll know if it worked. And that's really all there is to it. This is very powerful. You can use it to modify anything about your listings and you can do it over and over. <laughs> you don't get it right the first time. I think eventually eBay will implement a way to download selected listings that you haven't necessarily uploaded through the system, but that doesn't exist at the moment. But I'm hoping they'll um, make this whole download report section a lot more robust in the future. They are uh, here working on this sort of thing. So that's the story. I hope it helps. Thank you and take care.